All right, we back. We back. It's Mercy Sports Talk. We in the building. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time with a serious, serious uh, video about Ohio State. You guys know I'm a diehard University of Michigan fan. I'm definitely going to cover University of Michigan football and basketball, Michigan State basketball, football as well. I could be objective, even for Sparty as well. And I have a college sports page, too, that I run with a couple other of my other guys. Um, so if you're interested in that, I can give you that link. We're definitely going to start get the ball rolling on that as soon as possible. There's a few videos on there already. But um, Ohio State assistant, I think it was receivers coach, Zach Smith, has gotten Urban Myers in some hot, hot mess, all right? Uh, all right, Urban Myers signed a new contract, all right? Let me start there. And it says in the contract he must report any domestic violence, anything going on with his coaching staff or any violations in his program. In this new contract, it definitely said domestic violence that I'm reading from this article, which I link into the description. I can't get to all of it in this video, but check the article while we can read it through ESPN. And Zach Smith allegedly beat his wife, or yeah, allegedly beat his wife in, the D in domestic violence back in 2009 when he was in Florida. They kind of swept it under the rug. He had like he ain't know nothing about it. 2015, he do it again, and um. And we're going to get to that. But apparently, this Zach Smith guy was uh, fired for violating uh, uh, trespassing. He dropped his kids off to his wife's, his ex-wife's house, Courtney Smith. He was not supposed to do that, so he got fired because he broke a law. He got fired. So, Courtney Smith is saying, the wife, the ex-wife saying that everybody in the, football, in the football program knew. Even Urban Myers knew, all the wives knew. His wife, who works in the nursing program at Ohio State, knew that the Zach Smith guy was putting hands on her and uh, hurting her. And um, allegedly, Urban Myers didn't know about it. You know, everybody in this program knew about it, but he didn't know about it. And um, he has history going back to when he was at Florida 2009, 2015. And basically, Urban Myers is taking a, a paid administrative leave because uh, of these allegations. And it's in this new contract he signed in April that anything that goes on, domestic violence, amongst his coach, players, whatever it may be, he must report it or his contract can be terminated. And, I mean, he has stuff that's from Florida that we were just talking about on my other channel a little bit about that we drifted off that, you know, you had, you know, um, Aaron Hernandez who just passed, who was beating up bouncers, shooting guys. You had allegedly Joe Hayden was a, was a drug kingpin, got her. You had a guy, Riley Reef, who was a known racist. Uh, and a lot of different things that was going on in Florida and he got out of there, you know, when thing when the, when the water got hot, and talking about he had a heart issue, and knowing the, the, the walls was going to crumble on him, and ran to Ohio State eventually, okay, and you know with this situation, man, that's deep water, man. They put in your contract for you to say that, and it's it's a lot of pressure being a college coach, man, because you're responsible for all these kids, you're responsible for all these coaches, and you don't want to be a rat, you don't want to be snitching, but when it gets this serious. You got to, man. When you get that deep in it and you knew this guy had a history from 2009 for a felony DV that they begged her not to pursue it. And in 2015, he does it again. And you turn a blind eye. And now she's coming back, not clout chasing. She's coming back just to let people know what type of organization it was. The wives knew. Urban Myers knew. You know he knew. He denied that he did know. But he knew. He knew that that man was putting hands on that woman or whatever he was doing. And. You know, now she's coming back for blood. You know, now that her, her ex-husband is sued, I mean, is fired. Now she's coming for Urban Meyer's head. She's coming for everybody that didn't do what they were supposed to do, that didn't report, that didn't help her, that tried to uh, swear her not to say nothing. And she's taking down a whole empire. And she whistleblowing, but at the end of the day, um, you know, she's doing, she doing what she think is right. And, you know, Urban Myers, he's got away with it at Florida. And, and ran away from it, and now he, he trapped in Ohio State, his dream job. He about to get fired from his dream job for this situation. And, um, you know, do I wish it happened to her? To her? No. You know, do I, do I? am I glad that this happened in Ohio State? No, I never want to see nothing happen under these circumstances, man. And I, I don't want to see him go down like this, um, even though I have no love for Ohio State. But at the end of the day, if you knew about it, it's the same thing with Joe Paterno. He knew about what the, the Sandusky guy was doing. He knew about it, and, and and it was so much pressure on him. God, God bless his heart, but he knew about it. They tried to cover up for their boys, and eventually, what's done in the dark comes to the light. And and, and now he could be losing his job. They got an assistant uh, coach that's going to be the interim coach. Now he he cast a shadow over this whole program, man. 
And uh, Jim Trussell was suspended for this tattoo thing and this play to tattoo, whatever they got suspended, he got fired for. It. And Urban Myers, let's go see what they do, Ohio State do, man, because some serious allegations, man. Serious allegation. And he had a great thing going here. He didn't do a recruiting violation. He didn't do, do a pay, uh, pay to play thing. He got suspended because one of his assistant coaches, who had damn near ten year history of putting hands on his ex wife, his ex wife came back and told every nobody helped her. He covered it up. He claimed he didn't know about it, and it sounded bad. He said all the wives knew about it. His wife worked at the school. She knew about it, and he trying to decline that he knew anything about it. At the end of the day, his contract says that he can defend himself in this situation. He can say something. He can go against the go up. Uh, he can uh, tell it to the board, and they can find. They can do. They can get a determining factor if he would be fired or not. But like I said, man, it's just best just to, you know, a guy that that that, that had been a repeat offender. He knew it in two different programs. It's best just to tell on him and uh, get him help, man. You know, he was got fired anyway, so you should have been just told on him before that. But now you got a scorn woman that's hurt, that's mad, that's angry. You know she about to be the whistleblower of the year, man. You know she going to try to come for money. If she can't come for money, she going to try to bring that whole program down. She feels some type of way. She been getting her hand, been been beat up for years and years and years. And you guys knew about it and didn't want to help her. And then the wives knew about it and covered it up, knowing how how difficult it is for a female to deal with that. That's terrible, man. It's definitely definitely a terrible situation. And um, you know, God bless her heart and hopefully she get through this, man. And I know she probably never fully recover. Um, but Urban Myers, man, hopefully they deal with this swiftly. I um, would love to get a chance to beat Urban Myers at Ohio State, but if he get fired, it is what it is. He deserved to get fired. If you know, I know he knew about this. I'm not even going to front. He knew about this. He deserved to get fired, man. If if all of this is true, but right now he's innocent until proven guilty on Ohio State front. But uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, hopefully they get this resolved, and um, you know, hopefully justice is served, and hopefully you know she got pe a peace of mind, and hopefully her kids are fine, and um. I know it is what it is, man. So blessings and prayers go out to Courtney Smith. Hopefully she get through this situation. Going through this for almost nine to ten years, that's devastating, man. And uh, no man should put his hands on a woman. But at the end of the day, you know, you know they should have got they should have got that man help. And this this probably wasn't even a board over. They got him help back in 2009. But um, you know, hopefully he get the help he needs, and hopefully everything is good. But Motor City Sports Talk, y'all know what it is. Last one for the night. We gone.